It's January, and you know what that means. It's Royal Rumble season. We are officially on the road to WrestleMania 38, stopping in St. Louis, Missouri for a great pay-per-view. The Royal Rumble 2022 is upon us, and it is bound to be one of the greatest Royal Rumbles of all time. This is the first time that WWE is actually including outside companies such as Impact. We don't know who else will show up, but we do know we have the Impact Knockouts World Champion Mickey James on the card slated to be involved in the Women's Royal Rumble. There are so many surprises, so many things that we have to look forward to. I'm so excited to dive into this right now on the Angle Podcast, quick and easy. 2022 Royal Rumble pay-per-view predictions in preview show. As always, I'm your host, Joey Carney, and welcome, like I said, to the Angle Podcast prediction and preview show for the Royal Rumble 2022. Now, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below to stay up to date with all the Angle's activity right here on YouTube. Now, it's been quite some time since I've been able to say that I'm looking forward to every single match involved on a WWE pay-per-view card. This year, the 2022 Royal Rumble pay-per-view, I can finally say that once again. Every match on this card looks to be a home run. One in particular that I want to talk about right now is the Raw Women's Championship match between the champion, Becky Lynch, and the challenger, Dewdrop. Now, both being Irish descent, both having a similar uh, upbringing within the wrestling business, Dewdrop has been looking forward to this match for nearly 15 years. She's been trying to get this match with Becky, Ever since then, 15 years ago, this match is in the making. Becky Lynch, big time Bex, I believe will be getting the win tonight over Dewdrop. But the biggest thing to come out of this match is that Dewdrop is a force to be reckoned with. I think that this is the moment in time where Dewdrop finally shines in WWE, shows the world who she really is. Piper Niven. But she shows the world who she actually is on the Raw, on the Raw roster. And we can see great things from her going forward. Becky Lynch, obviously, I said... I, I think is going to retain her title, go into WrestleMania to defend that title in a huge match. The next match on the card I do want to talk about is the mixed gender, the intergender, whatever you want to call it, tag team match between the Rated R Superstar, the Glamazon, the first ever coupled Hall of Famers, the Grit Couple, Edge and Beth Phoenix, taking on the It Couple, Maurice and The Miz. Now this match is going to be one of the best matches on the entire card. We've seen already that what uh, what Edge and Beth Phoenix can do as a tag team. We've seen them hit uh, a heart attack. We've seen them hit a 3D on Monday Night Raw. I think tonight uh, at the Raw Rumble, we are going to get some of the best action from Edge and Beth Phoenix. And by the way, this is the first time that they're ever teaming together. Uh, as a couple, but also in WWE. So I think it's going to be a great thing to see that finally come to fruition. Finally check off some of those things that both have on their careers before they both hang up the boots. Now the next two matches I want to discuss actually go hand in hand. They are the WWE Championship match and the Universal Championship match. On one side, we have the WWE Championship match, the champion Brock Lesnar defending against the almighty Bobby Lashley. On the other hand, we have the Universal Champion, your tribal chief, Roman Reigns, defending against the Drip God, Seth freaking Rollins. Now, both matches I expect to be, hands down, two of the best matches of the entire year of 2022. But there are some swerves coming, I feel, and one in particular will be involved with the WWE Championship. I have a feeling that Bobby Lashley is going to dethrone, dethrone Brock Lesnar as your WWE Champion. Not in a clean way, but with some dirty swerve finish. I have a feeling that Paul Heyman is going to turn on Brock Lesnar and cost him the WWE Championship, letting Brock Bobby Lashley walk into WrestleMania as your WWE Champion. Now, on the other hand, we have the Universal Championship match, which I believe on the card will come first before the WWE Championship match, just to put into play for the WWE Championship swerve. Roman Reigns defending against Seth freaking Rollins. A lot of people saying, a lot of outlets reporting, Seth freaking Rollins is going to dethrone, be the one to dethrone Roman Reigns as a champion. I don't think so. I, say, I think tonight Roman Reigns defends and successfully, successfully defends his universal championship over the drip god, Seth freaking Rollins, going into WrestleMania as your universal champion, eventually leading to a match between Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship.
Now, the biggest reason why I chose those winners for those respective championship matches is as follows. Roman Reigns is now the longest Universal Champion in history. They are not going to take the title off of him to make him re-win a title, the WWE Championship, at WrestleMania. So, that makes it makes the most sense to keep the title on Roman, have his reign uh, extend the amount of days, have Lesnar be the one to challenge Roman, and have Roman go over at WrestleMania. But we will get to WrestleMania when we get to WrestleMania. We are just beginning the road to WrestleMania 38. Now it's time to talk about the two biggest matches on this card, the men's and women's Royal Rumble matches. For the first time ever in history, WWE is featuring talent from outside companies. They are featuring talent from Impact Wrestling, and we don't know if anybody else will show up, either from AEW, MLW, Impact Wrestling. We don't know what is about to happen. All we know is that we are going to be entertained, and we are going to enjoy this first stop on the road to WrestleMania. Now, first off, the Women's Royal Rumble. My pick all along has been a returning Bailey to get the win in this match. But with recent reports and recent speculation that a certain Rousey one is on her way back to WWE, I can only assume that if the rumors are true, that Ronda Rousey will return to WWE, win the women's 2022 Royal Rumble match, and head into WrestleMania to, def or to challenge, giving us the match we've all been waiting for since WrestleMania 35. Ronda Rousey versus the big time Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's Championship. Now, I'm sure that we will have some great spots in that match with the Bella Twins being involved, with Lita being involved, with the Impact Knockouts World Champion, Mickey James, returning to WWE, hopefully giving us Hardcore Country in her entrance theme and bringing that Impact Knockouts Championship to the ring. I can only hope uh, that we see such great things. But for the men's side of things, this is where things get a little tricky. My pick has always been the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, to be the 2022 Royal Rumble winner. Why, you may ask? Well, if you look back since the end of him and almost, AJ's stock in WWE has really skyrocketed a little bit. WWE sending him to NXT to deal with uh, Grayson Waller. WWE doing some great things with him on Raw with uh, Austin Theory. Really proving that he is the phenomenal one. But with all the rumors and all the speculation around the WWE and Universal Championship pictures, like I said before, I smell a swerve coming. And if that is true, then the loser of those respect of that respective title match, I can also see winning the Royal Rumble. So if Brock Lesnar loses his WWE Championship tonight at the Royal Rumble, I can see him getting himself into the Royal Rumble, winning it, and facing Roman Reigns for the title at WrestleMania. But if Seth Freakin' Rollins does dethrone Roman Reigns, I can see Roman Reigns getting himself involved into the Royal Rumble with help from Paul Heyman, if that swerve is true, making him be the one to win the Royal Rumble, going into WrestleMania to challenge Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. So much is predictable, so much is unpredictable in this Royal Rumble pay-per-view. I'm so excited to watch it. I'm so excited to see all the great uh, moments and memories that are made. But ultimately, I'm excited that we are finally on the road to WrestleMania 38. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this uh, quick and easy Royal Rumble pre-show. As always, I'm your host, Joey Carney. And don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Stay up to date with all the angles activity right here on YouTube. And I'm very excited, and I hope you are too. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2022 Royal Rumble is just upon us. Enjoy the show, and I will see you when I see you. And before you go, please like, subscribe, and check out more wrestling content right here on The Angle Podcast.